scientists got a big surprise when they first discovered life living in the total darkness at the bottom of the ocean. They found a whole community that didn't need the sun for energy. It lived on chemicals coming out of the earth in hot fluids at places scientists call hydrothermal vents. Microbes down there can use chemicals to get the energy they need to make their own food, kind of like how plants use sunlight energy to make their own food. All the other creatures depend on them. Even so, scientists didn't think that life could be inside the seafloor too, until one day, some scientists were exploring near the bottom of the sea in the mini submarine called Alvin, and they found themselves in a white blizzard. Turns out that white stuff was mats of microbes that had been blown out of the seafloor by an undersea volcanic eruption nearby. They were amazed. There might be a lot more down there. Today, many scientists are looking for microbes in the seafloor, but it's not easy. First, you have to dive through a lot of water. It's very dark, cold, with lots of crushing pressure in the deep ocean. There are only a few mini submarines like Alvin that can take scientists down there safely. There are also a few remotely operated vehicles called ROVs, which are robots on a tether, like Jason, that scientists can control from a research ship. Both these kinds of vehicles can take core samples from the seafloor. Scientists can then see what kind of microbes live in the sediment. And there are some big research ships that carry miles of pipe they can put together to make one really long metal straw, which they drop through the water and dig out samples in the seafloor. The Joides Resolution is one of those ships. The JR can dig not only sediment, but also harder rock like basalt. Scientists then sample the hard rock to see if microbes live in it. The JR drilled the holes for subsea floor observatories called corks. The corks stay at the bottom of the ocean, collecting different kinds of data. The instruments were lowered down the hole with their tops just above the seafloor, where an ROV can reach them. Some scientists, like Dr. Beth Orchid, set out experiments like little traps with different kinds of rock to see what the microbes down there might like to live on. The idea is that there's colonization experiments in here uh, that are also connected to these coils and pumps. Um, and they'll be sucking up fluid, and then that fluid will go over our colonization materials, and hopefully the bacteria or whatever will grow on our substrates. Once the samples are brought up from the seafloor, they're labeled and preserved, so scientists can look at them more closely back in the lab on shore.